Considering that uh, atheism cannot possibly have any sense of absolute morality, would it not then be an irrational leap of faith, which atheists themselves so harshly condemn, for an atheist to decide between right and wrong? Absolute morality, the, the absolute morality that a religious person might profess would include what? Stoning people for adultery, death for apostasy, punishment for breaking the Sabbath. These are all things which religiously based absolute moralities. I don't think I want an absolute morality. I think I want a morality that, that is thought out, reasoned, argued, discussed, and could almost say intelligent design. <laughs> Can we not design our society which has the sort of morality, the sort of society that, that we want to live in? If you actually look at the, m the moralities that m are accepted among modern people, among 21st century people, we don't believe in slavery anymore, we believe in equality of women, um, we believe in, in being gentle, we believe in being kind to animals. These are all things which are entirely recent. They have very little basis in biblical or Quranic scripture. They are, th they are things that have developed over historical time through a consensus of reasoning, sober discussion, argument, legal theory, political and moral philosophy. These do not come from religion. To the extent that you can find the good bits in religious scriptures, you have to cherry pick. You, you search your way through the Bible or the Quran and you find the occasional verse that is a, an acceptable profession of morality. And you say, look at that, that's religion. And you leave out all the horrible bits. And you say, oh, we don't believe that anymore. We've grown out of that. Well, of course we've grown out of it. We've grown out of it because of secular moral philosophy and rational discussion.